Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Before we get started, I have to show you something that I bought recently. And it is my donkey wore me. This is a doll that heats up in the microwave and smells like lavender. And I got it to soothe my anxiety and stress. <laughs> Look how cute his face is. Okay, anyways, back to the video. This video is slightly different because Valentine's Day is coming up in two weeks and I still have no idea what to get my boyfriend. <sighs> yeah. This is my fourth Valentine's Day with Simon and I just, I don't know, gifts just keep getting harder and harder and harder because there's so many occasions where you have to get a gift. So after scrolling through lists, like Valentine's Day gift ideas for men. I decided to take matters into my own hands because they were, it was horrible. It was not great. And I feel like I'm not the only one out there. And so I put together a list of everything I love, including this warming, into a gift guide. So if you need any ideas, you can hopefully get some from my video. And to do that, I decided to reach out to a couple of my friends who have obviously different opinions than I do and different experiences just to hear about what they've given for Valentine's Day in the past, what they've received, what they received that they didn't like any ideas they have etc etc so let's dive in okay the first friend i called was sophie sophie is literally the best gift giver i've ever met she is incredible with giving gifts and i don't know how she thinks of these gifts when she gives it to you let me show you one thing that sophie got me for christmas and it's the most thoughtful gift i've ever received Okay, one of the most thoughtful. But it is this recipe book because she knows that I love cooking and it has my name on it. It's a personalized recipe book so that as I create more cooking videos, I jot out my recipe. It's not so thoughtful. I knew I had to call her up and here's what she said. I am literally such a noob and realized none of my audio actually recorded while I was screen recording my conversation with both Sophie and Paul. So here is the clip of us talking, but I'm gonna try my best to recap everything they said. The worst gift that Sophie ever received was a necklace that fit into her boyfriend's keychain that was so obviously from Amazon. So this is definitely something to not do. Got it. Thanks, Sophie. The next person I called was Paul, my high school friend. You may remember him from some of my previous vlogs. Basically, Paul is the list friend. He has a list for everything. Date ideas, gift ideas, restaurant ideas, just everything you can think of. And so I knew I had to hit him up because he probably has a pretty extensive list for valentine's day gift ideas or gifts in general so here's what we talked about during my conversation with paul he mentioned that the best gift he's ever received was from his friend and it was a record player that he has still sitting in his room he is currently single but if he had to gift something for his girlfriend for valentine's day he would prioritize experiences thanks paul and the last person i called was my aunt aunt viv but unfortunately my screen recording of my facetime with her didn't get saved so let me just do a quick summary of everything she told me it was so funny though she told me the worst gift she's ever received was a coach wallet because she wanted a a luxury brand wallet which makes sense which but after being with her husband for this long going to a restaurant sharing a meal together is what she would love to receive as a gift also a diamond band just gonna just gonna put that out there for you tim thank you to my friends and family who took time to facetime me and without further ado here is the gift guide that i created for this year's valentine's day it's split up into three tiers. I just wrote down anything and everything I thought of. So there are 11 ideas I have for the first tier, which is like the $1 sign tier that is a $10 to $50 range. The second tier is $2 signs. It is the $50 to $100 range. And then the last one is $100 plus. So 
Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna be fast. I'm gonna be quick with this. But of course, everything that you can get from Amazon, I linked in my Amazon storefront, so go check that out. Okay, the first tier. First thing I thought of was the Dior lip oil that trended on TikTok. I think anyone who wears makeup would appreciate it and wanna try it. Number two, house slippers. These I wear every single day. These are smiley ones that Sophie actually got me for Christmas because she was my secret Santa. These are perfect for the winter because my feet get really cold around the house, so I've been wearing these. And then these are the cloud slippers that I bought when I first moved in. They're very thick and cloud-like, so it feels like you're walking on clouds. Super squishy, fun to walk around. Number three is my favorite. This is not the exact one I linked, but this is a mascara from Kiss Me. Kiss Me Mascaras, it doesn't matter what kind or what color the packaging is, is my favorite mascara of all times. It's super light and strong. It holds up my lashes and keeps it curled the entire day. Next, personalized jewelry box. I don't have a jewelry box, but I saw Hannah gift one to one of her friends and it's so cute. Perfect for traveling, perfect for people who wear a lot of jewelry and it's personalized. So how can you go wrong with that? They sell those on Etsy. Number five, pimple patches this works for anyone who has pimples on their faces and that's like everyone including myself pimple patches dry out your pimples no scarring you just need to use it and try it number six books these two are some books i thought of with ali this is the silent patient book that ali loves that she has asked me to read but i have not read yet this is more of a self-help book called designing your life my manager kutzi got it for me a while back and just has a lot of exercises and insights you can use to design your life to be what you want it to be. My hair. <laughs> Number seven is a moleskin journal. My eighth idea are puzzles. I personally do not do puzzles, but I definitely have friends around me who are obsessed, like Allie. And so puzzles will be a fun gift. Oh, there are also personalized puzzles where you can make the puzzle be a photo of you and your partner. So that's a good idea. Number nine is a water bottle. You may think this is a dumb idea, but I am absolutely obsessed with my Simple Modern water bottle that I have on my desk and I drink so much water out of it every day. A really great gift, especially if you watch TikTok and you follow Tinks. And number 10 is a name necklace. I used to have a necklace that said my name Joyce on it, but I switched it out for this one. These are initials for my Korean name, so I wear this every single day. I got it on Etsy. And lastly, from the first tier list, warmies. I just added this to my list because I ordered it recently. But again, it's it's a doll like this where that heats up and smells like lavender. And who wouldn't want a super cuddly stuffed animal okay moving on to my second tier i only have four items on this list but i hope they're useful to you first one is a hum toothbrush this <laughs> is so random this is what the toothbrush looks like they have different colors they have purple they have blue they have black all of the options for you and i've never actually owned a an electric toothbrush before and it's fun what makes the hum one different is that they have an app that you connect via bluetooth and it tracks your brushing skills basically it tells you what area you've covered what you didn't how long is your brush on each side for and you get points for it <laughs> so they really gamified brushing your teeth second on my Second tier list is Color Me Mine. So Paul mentioned experiences on Viv mentioned experiences. So Color Me Mine is I think a really cute thing that you can do with your partner. You go pick out a ceramic piece that you paint together and you can use it at home. So I've done it before with my team. I painted shot glasses, but they have mugs, they have plates, they have dishes, vases, everything the third idea i had on my list is also another experience and it's a pottery class i've always wanted to learn how to do ceramics and how i can make my own or paint and sip you go and paint and drink wine together and lastly build a bear one it's an experience that you can do together you go and build or you surprise your partner and make one of your own and two it's a physical gift that you get to keep Okay, moving on to my third category. This is the third tier list. 
it is a bit more pricier but for those of you who do have that budget and are looking for higher tiered gifts this is for you first idea is a concert so if there are any artists that you and your partner like listening to or your partner likes that you're willing to go to a concert with concert tickets are a great gift idea in my opinion i got it this is my second idea for the third tier gifts in our place pan this one i am sure you've seen all over the internet you've probably gotten targeted an ad for it this is a pan a non-stick pan that is just so wonderful to cook with i enjoy cooking with it it has a wooden spatula that comes with it and then a steamer I really think this is a perfect gift. Number three is anything from Lululemon. If your partner likes working out or likes leisure wear, Lululemon has very great quality clothing in my opinion and I personally love their leggings and so that's an idea I had. If I received a Lululemon legging, I would, I don't know, be so happy. Fourth is a Tiffany ring. No, not an engagement ring, not a diamond, but like a band. I actually bought this one. For myself <laughs> i bought this and a matching one for my boyfriend and so it's kind of like a couple ring but then it's not too obvious that it's a couple ring if that makes sense so this one i got from tiffany a year and a half ago it's very scratched up so don't mind that number five is an espresso machine i use my espresso every single day for coffee number six is a juicer or a blender i started making green juice every week and i find that juicers are very helpful to have and blenders so versatile you can use it for literally anything number seven is an experience that i recently thought of and it's a couple's massage you get a massage your partner gets a massage and you get to share that experience together and i've personally never done a couple's massage before but i heard they're great and lastly shoes this one is so broad but i realized i want new shoes recently and i thought it would be a great gift if you know your partner's shoe size obviously so many new birkenstock sandals coming out it's the summer it's almost the summer and there are uggs for the winter there's converse vans nike literally they're hoka i actually got hoka shoes for working out from my roommate so a lot of ideas there and that is it i feel like i talked super fast and a lot and i hope this gift guide was super helpful for you in terms of getting more ideas for gift ideas it doesn't have to be tied to valentine's day honestly i think these gifts are amazing for any occasion i'll list everything down in the description box below and for anything that's available on amazon i linked it in my storefront so go check it out but that's it <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was super helpful. If you have any additional ideas for me, please throw it down in the comment section because I'm always looking for gift ideas because I'm a horrible at gifts. There you go. I confessed it. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in my next.